what's your name? How did you get it? Maybe your parents picked a popular name for you, or maybe you were named after a relative. Different cultures have different ways of naming children. The Ojibwe people, a Native American nation, get their names in a way that is probably different than how you got yours. Typically, the parents ask someone in the community to choose their child's name, maybe through a dream. Did you get your name the day you were born? Ojibwe babies often don't get their names until they are one or two, maybe even 12 years old. Author Louise Erdrich has written a book called The Birchbark House, which is about a young Ojibwe girl named Omakayas. The story takes place in the mid-1800s on Madeline Island, which is located on present-day Lake Superior. In the story, the main character, Omakayas, has a young baby brother who does not yet have a name. All the people on the island who can give names haven't yet dreamed of one for Omakayas' brother. For now, he is called Niwo, which means fourth, because he is the fourth child. Names are important because they give someone an identity. When an Ojibwe child receives a name, a naming ceremony is given in celebration. No matter how you got your name, whether from your parents, your relatives, or a dream, your name is an important part of who you are. To find out more about Omakayas and the Ojibwe Nation, read The Birchbark House, located at your local library.